Internet Marketing Vocabulary Words You Need to Know Internet marketing can be intimidating if you do not know the vocabulary. Every business has its own lingo, and internet marketing is no exception. In music we play lead, in radio we roger that, in restaurants we 86 things, and in texting we use lol. A lot. I can safely conclude that you have entrepreneurial tendencies and probably worked in sales at some time. So the words that can confuse you are only I am, internet marketing, related. Here are a few words that I did not understand when I started that would be used over and over again in the I am instructional ebooks I read, duh, PLR, or private label rights offers you to just change the title and the author and presto you have your very own ebook to sell. What they don't tell you is how to edit PDF files without an expensive program. Here, OpenOffice with the PDF add-on is a completely open-source PDF editor. It also has presentation and spreadsheets in it, outsourced copywriter allows you to pay someone else to write copy for you and you gain all of the credit. Copy is anything in written form on your website or email marketing. You need fresh relevant material for your website so if you do not have time to write or if you just stink at it, you outsource your copywriting. Most free articles I've been offered to use have been weak, used by many, and not well informed. So even though my writing stinks, I think it's better than most I've been offered. SEO or search engine optimization is pitched as the end of all end alls. But it is not that easy. Here's an analogy I used to manage a bar that had live music. One Wednesday night, we booked a local band that mostly played Grateful Dead covers. Being an off night, we did not charge a cover to get in. We were packed out, by far the busiest Wednesday night we ever had. But we were not making any money, in fact we lost money that night. We were full of dead head tree huggers drinking water and eating free bar snacks. So remember, just because you're busy it doesn't mean you're making any money, squeeze pages and landing pages are sales pages, one on the entrance to your website and one on the exit from your website. These usually ask for the email of your customer so that you can keep selling to that person through your email company. I have a friend who can do this all through Hotmail, but I haven't figured out how to do that yet. There are several autoresponders available, some free, some not cheap, and some that will mail to any list you give them, spammers. Keep in mind that the free autoresponders are free so that they can advertise other products inside your emails. That is great if you are a church or softball team. But if you are running a business, you should not use one of them. By the way, I use GetResponse, my brother uses MailChimp, and a few of my friends use eWeber. Backlinks are links posted on someone else's website that directs back to your website. The easiest backlinks to get are social network sites, while the hardest is from government or education websites. The search engine recognizes this challenge and gives greater weight to .edu or .gov backlinks. The most honest way to create backlinks to your site is to write articles, comment on other blog sites, and engage in conversations in forums. This way grows slowly, but has the greatest long-term return, open source refers to access to free programs. The most recognized open source for new internet users is WordPress or maybe Blogger.com. Here's two more open source programs I use for designing pages and pictures. GIMP for any picture editing and composer for a great what you see is what you get HTML editor. This may be a small list of vocabulary for I am, but I became so frustrated trying to understand them when I was getting started that I thought you may appreciate this list.